Hello friends, hi, this is Dr. Thirath Gill. I want to talk to you about uh, a common side effect that uh, psychiatrists see in patients that are taking Depakote and Topamax sometimes. And this has to do with the elevation of ammonia levels. Uh, there are complex causes for this and uh, it's hard sometimes to uh, ascertain whether it's significant or not. So if you see an ammonia level uh, that's elevated, you should, uh, you know, first of all, interview the patient and see if there's any signs of encephalopathy. Encephalopathy, and that you would see, you would notice that if the patient is sluggish, maybe, um, uh, a little sedated perhaps, uh, sleepy, uh, somnolent, maybe disoriented. Uh, they may uh, have a little tremor. Uh, and uh, it can progress to where uh, they can go uh, into a coma and uh, it can be pretty serious. So it's important to first of all acknowledge it, that it can occur and then, uh, you know, learn to uh, work it up and then get it treated uh, so that the levels can be normal. So basically, uh, ammonia is produced when you eat, you know, takes in proteins, these are metabolized in the gut, uh, the bacteria break down the uh, protein uh, and uh, produce uh, nitrogenous compounds, including ammonia. These are absorbed uh, out of circulation and return to the liver. The liver metabolizes it and creates urea out of the protein breakdown products. excreted 75% uh, of it by the kidneys, 25% uh, is excreted through the colon, and uh, levels are maintained nor within the normal range, let's say 15 to 60 micrograms per deciliter. And uh, with the valproic acid and its metabolite, it does inhibit certain enzymes that are involved in the metabolic pathways that synthesize urea, that convert ammonia into urea. It uh, the valproic acid and its metabolite can inhibit that. There's an enzyme carbamoyl phosphatase 1. That's implicated. Um, deficiency of uh, carnitine has been uh, implicated as well. So the FDA approved L-carnitine as a supplement to treat elevated uh, ammonia in valproic related uh, encephalopathy. Uh, it comes uh, as a product called Carnitor. It comes in 300 and 500 milligram tablets. And um, you know you can look it up and uh, this can be prescribed and it can help with certain individuals that may have a tendency for uh, having um, a low rate of metabolism anyway for urea synthesis and this being affected by Depakote or uh, Topomax or some other medications also like acetazolamide, uh, barbiturates and certain diuretics, um, ammonium uh, uh, bicarbonate, uh, any ammonium chloride, uh, these can all elevate ammonia levels. So uh, what is the treatment for this? The should consult a primary care doctor. The treatment is uh, lactulose. It alters the gut flora and also inhibits the growth of bacteria that produce ammonia. Uh, it also acts as a laxative, which may be helpful uh, in uh, decreasing the ammonia levels. Uh, neomycin is also used 
uh, it's an antibiotic. It basically uh, kills some of the bacteria that generate ammonia. Um, other antibiotics may also be utilized uh, for altering the gut flora and to promote a normal ammonia level. So, uh, you know, once uh, you have it stabilized, you monitor their mental status also. And if possible, you try to reduce the dose of Depakote. And uh, you can do this by adding lithium perhaps in a lower dose. So low dose of lithium and low dose of Depakote might be the ticket that uh, maintains the stability in regards to bipolar disorder and also avoids the elevated, uh, elevated ammonia levels that can be troublesome. So anyhow, uh, that is a little bit about uh, elevated ammonia levels. Thank you. Bye-bye. Good night. Another gorgeous sunset behind the trees. So just as an aside, uh, the levels of ammonia can be affected by how the sample is collected also. So the person should be fasting overnight. They should not have smoked. Uh, within an hour or two before the sample is drawn. Uh, a tourniquet should not be used. The hand should not be clenched. If there's any hemolysis, that can elevate the levels of uh, ammonia as well. And so, and the sample has to be run. The lab has, should be run within 20 minutes or the sample has to be kept on ice. So these are some other factors that may go into uh, determining whether a sample uh, of an elevated ammonia finding may is significant or not. It depends on how the sample was collected as well. Okay, thank you. Bye.